Welcome back guys, going to be doing some more laddering today. So I've made some changes to the team. Uh, let's get into it and I'll explain as we go. I have decided to add in a Grim Snarl over the top of Incineroar. Um, unfortunately that means I don't have a fire move, which means I may need to change my Moltres, and I'm thinking changing of that into Cantonian Zapdos, but we'll see how we go today. Again, if you could like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, that would be great. Again, any changes you think I could make to the team, or any changes I could have done to my to, to my plays, that would be great. All right, we've got our first trainer. We're up against Jar. Okay, what's Jar running? Uh, so he's got a Regilecki, a Zacian, a Lando, an Anger Point, Tauros. We have, um, oh, what's it called? Frostlass and, and Moltres. So I think I'm going to go, oops, Solgaleo. I'm going to set up Trick Room. Um, I don't think I've got much to deal with Trick Room. And we'll go Amoongus. Then I'll bring in a Grim Snarl, and I actually think uh, Rotom can do okay here. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think Rotom's going to be a good one. I think with Trick Room, there's no point in bringing in Spectria, and uh, Moltres is probably weak to at least all of them. Okay, so let's see how we go. So Frostless and Toro straight away says Anger Point. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to um, Rage Powder that away. Reggie Lekization, that's all right. So, I will Trick Room and Rage Powder. There's not much Reggie Lecky can do. Um, to get around the Rage Powder, about all he can do is probably Electro Web. And he's just protecting. I am A OK with that. Not much damage. Okay. Now let's see what we can do here. Don't really want to bring Grim Snarl in uh, straight away. Okay. I think we're just going to max and Max, Max Quake into the Zacian. Um, the only thing I can see is maybe stri uh, switching in a Lapras, uh, sorry, a Lando or a, yeah. I'm gonna go Max Steel Spike into Zacian and protect. Yep. Okay, so in comes Lando, good. All right, so next turn, I'm just gonna start sporing things. I probably should have spored something on the last turn, but kind of running out of time, just needed to do something. And you, you can never lose with Protect. Okay, yep. So we get the Max Steel Spike off. Onto the Landorus. Big damage. All right, I'm gonna Spore Lecky.
and we will spore into the lecky. It's all right. Whatever's coming in is going to sleep unless it is, which it could be, safety goggles. And it's not. Awesome. Awesome. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh, that's a slow Lando. I was not expecting that. Okay, so you got me good. Okay, so I'm just going to max steel spike into the Moltres. And we will protect. No. Let's bring in Rotom. Rotom's not going to take much damage from the fly. And is super effective against both these mons. What? Ah, this game's dumb. Okay, so this turn I'm going to max steel spike, uh, sorry not max steel spike, I'm going to sun steel strike into the Lando and I'm going to thunderbolt into the Moltres. I don't really want Moltres waking up and getting a fiery wrath off into my uh, Solgaleo. Went for Protect, that's its last turn. So, I think I'm just going to go, we want to, uh, I think we go Trick Room, <clears throat> and we go Protect. See what it's going to take out. You kind of think that they have to go for the Sol Galeo um, and try and get a knockout. Before I can set Trick Room up again. That easy live. Good, 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 good. A crit again. Oh, why is it doing so much damage? Okay, so I'm gonna go earthquake and hydro pump over here. Okay, bringing in Zation. Big call. So now I'm going to get two hits off. And the Hydro Pump hit. Good. Awesome. 
Now I'm guessing Sol Galeo is going down. Yep, that's okay. I'm going to bring in Amoongus. I'm going to start getting damage off. Turns a trick room. Oh, heaps. Okay. So, let's spore here and protect here. Awesome. So, that means it's not a heavy ball. Into Rotom. Okay. So I'm going to leave Reggie Lecky for a tick. I will Pollen Puff into the Rotom and I'm going to Hydro Pump into the Landorus. So there's not much Reggie Lecky can do against my Amoongus, so I'm not really going to focus down on it. But Lando can do a lot more damage. Ah, uh, oh that's okay. Unless they flinch. No flinch. No flinch. And it flinched. That's all right. Let's go uh, Pollen Puff again. And this time, Hydro Pump into Reggie Lecky. <sighs> uh, why would you protect it? It wasn't even... Uh. So, asshole got a crit again. Fuck. At least Reggie Lecky's doing less damage now. So I'm just going to protect. No. Um. Spore Lando. No. I'll spore Reggie Lecky, and I will protect Rotom. Okay, so this turn I'm gonna switch out Rotom so I can re reset its speed drops. And I'm just gonna try and spore this guy. So Reggie Lecky's guaranteed turn of sleep. So it would be nice to not be critical hit every second turn. Okay. 
So I'm just going to pollen puff into the Reggie Lecky and set up a light screen because um, his Landorus has got to sleep. So there's no point in getting my physical attack up, uh, defense up yet. Wake up, Electro Web. Good. Get some chip off. Protect. Get this Reggie Lecky out of here. Now I've got lagging tail, so I'm definitely going to attack last. Hopefully, he doesn't wake. Hopefully, we'll get another turn of sleep. Yep. Okay, good. Puff and reflect. I'm guessing it's got a choice band. Okay. Let's bring in Rotom. I'm going to get its item off it and give it the lagging tail. There is a chance it could uh, miss the rock slide on Grim Snarl anyway and keep, let it stay alive. And then I've got Choice Banded Spirit Breaks. Yeah. Oh, all right, good game. The fact that I lived on some health means any hit I get off now is gonna kill it. Hydro Pump and Spirit Break. And battle's canceled. All right, guys, that's it. I'm feeling a bit better about the team with Grim Snarl in it. I've always been a bit more comfortable with Grim Snarl than um, uh, Incineroar. I like the fact that I can trick off Lagging Tail and have a form of speed control there regardless of if Tailwind or if Trick Room's up. So I'll probably run with this for a little bit, see how I go without a fire move, but in the past when I haven't had a fire move on my team, I haven't done as good as I would like. So I will see how it goes. If it's not going great, I'm going to switch out the Galarian Moltres for the... Uh, Cantonian Zapdos. The fact that Galarian, uh, sorry, yeah, the Galarian Moltres doesn't get a fire move is a bit, a bit rubbish. Even a Burning Jealousy would be nice, but anyway, that's the way things are. So if you could like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, that would be great. Uh, I should have my week five of the draft coming out soon. Um, I will be up against the Florida Freedom Fighters. Uh, with a quite a scary Duskmane Necrozma on their team. So look out for that next week. I'll keep uploading one game or two as I ladder. And yeah, have a good one, guys.